and you can see some of the uh, water damage to a home which is not even on the water it's on the backside of the ocean as most of these homes are however you can see that the water level must have been up as it's done some damage Anna, Anna. just walk through there And the whole tunnel uh, was breached and the sand has filled it in. And now we'll get a look at the other side. We'll get us, the other side here will get us out into the ocean. And as you can see, we still have a ways to go. We have crawled through this space right here underneath the West Gilgo Beach overpass to Ocean Parkway. So uh, we have some distance to go but we're right back in the spot that we were in yesterday and that's where we're going to stay so that we can capture the waves. Back on West Gilgo Beach today in the middle of the storm here Hurricane Irene has certainly left her mark of damage. Yesterday there's the same exact sand dune that we were standing on which is now as you can see if you look down is part of the ocean floor. So as our camera pans in over here, you can now see all the damage that's been done. And uh, if you look straight ahead, that was the tunnel that we walked into yesterday, which we just came through today. And it's uh, filled with about seven feet high uh, worth of sand. So we had to crawl through the same exact spot that we were in yesterday. If you look up here at the dune where I was standing yesterday, there's just about a, a few rocks that are left and uh, the damage is extensive as far as beach erosion goes. Now, uh, the storm is not finished yet. We're still in the middle of the storm. We look like we're closing in on it. The waves yesterday, which were about five or six feet, I would say in, um, in, a, in guessing with these 50 mile an hour wind gusts are about eight to 10 feet. As you can see, yesterday we were standing on this 